Hi guys, I'm Dr. Aishwarya Vyajman, APG All India Rank 778 and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about different sources and methods to approach certain subjects for NEPG and in this video I am picking three subjects one is anatomy, second is pharma and third is medicine which I found little tricky and difficult during my preparation and if you want videos of the same kind for different subjects please leave your comments below before getting into each individual subject I want you all to keep three things in mind first thing is this is mainly for your marrow users because I used marrow and I can only talk about what's good there and what's not and second thing is this is mainly for the exam purpose this is not very knowledgeable way or this is not the ideal way to approach any subject if you are looking forward to master anything but this is solely for the exam purpose and i'm sure if you follow this properly you can get a good rank and the third thing is pyqs come before anything else so before starting any subject you have to solve all the pyqs maybe for last five six years and make topic list of your own and only then start with the subject first let's talk about anatomy because many people find it difficult because it is not very conceptual and it is very volatile even i think the same uh, so initially what i did with anatomy was i started watching main videos from uh, marrow mainly the neuroanatomy and head and neck part because that is what is focused in ini ct and i was mainly focusing on ini so I did the main videos and used the ready notes but I couldn't remember anything from that and I don't think I've gained a lot from there uh, though I revised two to three times I didn't find it very good and rest of the parts I just did the PYQs and Q bank and that's how I gave INI and uh, I didn't get great results there by the time NEET PG came I watched the revision videos and made notes from the revision videos and tried studying from there and though uh, revision videos are somewhat better and it has all the important points it still wasn't very useful for me and no offense to anybody and i respect all the teachers doing anatomy from marrow is a very bad idea during the initial days of preparation my friends from uh, bhatia live classes used to tell how dr ashwini sir teaches so well and he has made anatomy so interesting and i was just thinking oh how can somebody make anatomy easy or interesting it is it is a boring subject like nobody can teach it well but during my last 40 days revision i was looking for another source i was seriously not very confident about my own preparation even the notes which i made from the revision videos was not very satisfactory so that's when i found the revision video from dr ashwini sir on his youtube channel and it was four hour long video and i was completely impressed and I believed someone can actually make anatomy interesting. During that time, I watched the video. I didn't make the notes. He already gave the PDF notes. So I was just concentrating on the class and I uh, understood a lot of things. And also many things that he taught there came in the exams also. And I watched the video one more time during the last 10 day revision as well. So what I suggest is in Sir's YouTube channel, which I will mention in the description box, there are videos where he has taught all the sections of anatomy part by part but the revision video that i was talking about is not in the channel right now maybe he'll make another session when the exams are nearby so for now just watch these videos and make your notes uh, it may feel little incomplete but that's okay those videos the notes and the pyqs and the revision video which will come later should be sufficient for you to solve all the questions from anatomy Next subject is pharmacology. Again, same thing with pharma. It is volatile, it is not conceptual, and it is all about memorizing the stuff. So for pharma, I didn't watch the main videos, I didn't watch the revision videos, but I only solved PYQs repeatedly and uh, solved the Q bank along with that till the time I gave I9. And later on, again, it was not enough and I had to do something more. And that's when I watched the revision videos and made notes from that. From the edition six revision videos of pharmacology, what sir has done is has put every chapter into tables there is table for every chapter where you will know all the drugs their mechanism of actions their uh, uses their adverse effects and everything in brief when i read it for the first time i didn't find it very useful because uh, with one reading nothing will happen so when i read that same thing repeatedly it actually helped 
because when so many things are together in the table form the visual memory that you form by reading repeatedly will help a lot later so you have to be little patient with this but it definitely works and along with that you have to make a separate list of drug of choice and main adverse effects and also the mechanism of action if you need apart from these tables which you already have because when it comes to neat pg these are the main fields where the questions come from and along with this one or two questions from the general pharma which is also covered in the revision videos so pharma is all about repeated readings and this particular method will be useful only when you do it repeatedly and there is another way to approach pharma dr anjan kumar sir has his own youtube channel and he had made live sessions which is known as uh, weekly pharmacology in the last few months so what you can do is according to those videos like there was one topic for a week and by the end of that week sir will make a recap video of the same topic so you have the entire week where you can watch the video and solve question and make your own notes and in the end watch that recap video and complete that topic if you start now it will be a great aid and the last subject for this video is medicine medicine and marrow is so vast sir himself has told that it is not for the post interns because it takes a lot of time to cover and you can't revise it in the last 10 days obviously and without that it's as good as not doing anything so what i did for medicine is i made a list of previous year topics for the medicine and i went to those q bank modules and solved questions and meanwhile made the notes from the explanation given below the question for example ecg though ecg scares us not many ecgs are actually asked all they ask is psvt mi rbb blbbb very few are actually asked and those are given in the question bank modules and you can go there solve the questions learn from what is there in the explanation if anything extra is needed you can always go back to the main videos and i made notes from that and that solved the medicine problem for me and one more thing that you can do is mediate the entire medicine is covered in just 80 hours if you are into full fledged preparation already you can cover this in just 10 days and it is absolutely worth it and that's it for this video thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and also if you want a similar video on the subjects that you want please leave your comments below and thanks for watching